Hi, welcome to another Pick a Card reading. My name is Amara. This is Tarot by Amara. Um, today's Pick a Card reading is going to be about the person that you will marry. Um, this is going to be different for everybody that is watching. It is a general reading. So for some of you, you could have already met this person. You could have already been married. Um, for others of you, you could be engaged. Um, and for others of you, this could be a past person. And for others of you, this could be you're here just to know who the hell am I going to marry? And that's totally okay. That's totally cool. Um, we have three piles here. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. And then this is pile number three. Um, take a moment to pause the video, meditate on the energy, sit with the energy before picking your pile. If you find that it doesn't resonate, you can go ahead and watch a different pile um and yeah let's just get started if you picked pile number one welcome to your reading this is going to be all about the person that you are going to marry um i have already pre-shuffled some cards here and we're just gonna look into the person that you're gonna marry oh beautiful we have celebration this is a wonderful time in your life difficulties fall away and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. The timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. Oh, that is such a beautiful card. I'm getting, I'm already getting a couple different messages from that, okay? So I feel like the person you're going to marry, this person really is like destined into your life okay like this person came at like the perfect time um it almost felt magical and serendipitous i don't know if you guys have seen serendipity the movie um highly recommend i think you could possibly relate to that movie but it's all about meeting somebody at a very particular time and it feels very destined and magical. I'm just envisioning snow and Christmas. Um, you could get married around Christmas, or Christmas could be one of your favorite holidays, um, but there just seems to be a lot of joy in the air. Now, for others of you, you could meet this person at um, a birthday party, an anniversary of some kind, a wedding, um, just a place where people are celebrating something. You could meet them on like a holiday, for example. This could even be like the 4th of July. Um, stars are significant here, but it just seems, oh, I'm also getting, for others of you, this person could be in like the public eye, okay? They could be someone who, not for all of you, but they could like, I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm getting like Nepo babies all of a sudden, like, for some of you, this is someone who went to, like, a prestigious school because their parents are well-known. Like, um, for others of you, this is, like, someone who has, like, a public, like, social media and they're, like, popular. Something about them is going to be popular. Um, now I'm getting, you're gonna be popular. I feel like, I feel like this pile, pile number one, your energy is very, like star-like like it's very um like there's a lot of attention that is going to be gravitating towards you um when you meet this person or just like, even at your wedding in general I feel like your wedding is going to be like over the top like um super extravagant like I'm getting big ball gown huge churches and I just think that that's like your personality that's really shining through but there's something else about you that's unique so you might do something that's kind of like traditional but like not traditional at the same time <laughs> we have intuition you already know the answer you're seek okay some of you guys some of you guys already met this person <laughs> so then you guys like intuitively know who this person is and you're just watching this for fun <laughs> interesting we have feminine, we have hermit, and then we have stay optimistic about your love life. Interesting. Okay, so I'm getting a couple different messages here. So for some of you in pile one, um, 
you are someone who right now is like the star of the show okay like you have qualities about yourself that are very out there you could be really extroverted and i feel like the person that you're that you're gonna marry is actually <laughs> kind of the opposite in in a weird way they're showing up here as the hermit um they don't have to be introverted because i did pick up on like star energy so i feel like this person is the both of you actually like power couple meant to be seen meant to be out there in the world doing healing work i feel like for some of you guys like oh i'm getting like angelina jolie i don't know i'm getting angelina jolie um like she is a huge activist but she's also a star like she's a, an amazing actress um so i feel like there's like two sides of you like there's a part of you that is like really out there in the world and experiencing life and creating life and um there's another part of you that's very um no i want to be if i'm going to be seen i want to be doing something good and i feel like that is sort of like your spiritual path in life like you are meant to be doing something for the good of the earth i'm getting some of you guys could be like gardeners um you could have you could want to farm even but there's this just this feeling of like needing to be seen and heard um and i think the person that you're gonna marry is gonna sort of mirror that energy they might be a little bit more on the quiet side um but they have the same qualities as you meant to be seen it's almost like it's almost like this person creates some sort of humanitarian organization right you're like the face <laughs> of that organization like because you're you have this energy that is able to pull people in i feel like you have very very strong feminine qualities about yourself um and right now like if if you have not met this person already you're being asked to stay positive about your love life and know that there is someone out there for you um I'm also getting like this feeling of like 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 this invisible string tying the two of you together. Um it's like notice how she's I guess she's like offer she's like doing some sort of earth offering, that energy that I was picking up. Um earth offering. So you could really be like doing some sort of like magic or just like like wanting to really seek out the person you're going to marry. Like you are ready for the step in your life. And so you're being asked to just stay positive and keep the faith about this situation in your life, about your love life. And notice how the Hermit card here is sort of in like a similar energy, um, but it's more so they're offering to themselves. They're in solitude to seek more about themselves, to seek inner wisdom, to seek inner guidance. Um, so while you're out there putting your energy into the world and staying positive, this person is sort of doing that internally, if that makes sense. Um, but there is a string tying the two of you together. And I think like intuitively you could know that this person is like near somehow, like they're near you. Um, it just feels very much like it's all like tied in together somehow. I feel like you have, if you know this person already, and this is a very specific message, if you know this message, um, sorry, if you know this person already, right, like, if you know that you have met the person that you are going to marry, like, you feel it in your gut, in your soul, in your heart, in your mind that this is the person that you want to marry, um, I feel like you could be in some sort of, like, separation somehow, like, this person could be at a distance from you. And you are doing some sort of, like, magic to, like, get this person back into your life somehow. Um, like, doing the earth offerings, maybe doing something, like, under a new moon. Um, doing something with, like, creation, I feel like. This could be, like, even doing, like, uh, I'm getting, like, those love candles that, um, like, those love candles where there's two figure candles and, like, you, like, tie the cord or something like that. 
Um, cause I see that her hand is glowing and her, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not into like chakra, so I don't know much about that. Um, but there's this energy that's, that's being put out by you creating something, wanting to get this person to you somehow and like see how their, their light is glowing here in, in the middle of their heart. So I feel like there's some sort of like attachment to this specific person. Like I said, if you don't know this person, it's like an invisible string. Um, but I feel like you're dealing with someone here, like the person you're going to marry, who's going to be really just like into themselves and not in like a big ego kind of way. Um, this is someone who is just has the self-awareness. Um, and it's funny, and I feel like that is something that you might struggle with a little bit, is having this sort of self-awareness. I feel like there's something about you that is... Um, you could, this person could actually be a little bit older than you. Um, I'm, I'm getting like an age gap relationship here. Um, I think that there is something about you that is still really young and learning and experiencing life. Um, and this person is just, they've sort of been through it. Like, I feel like this person has really gone through some things in their life. I'm just noticing like there's so much light around you and pink and like just color and I feel like with this person if there is a bit of darkness so when you meet them okay you when you meet them they might be a little like mopey they might be a little bit just quiet and like reserved and um but they're comfortable they're not like awkward they're comfortable within themselves um and it's like you're at a party and this person sort of stands in the back and doesn't say anything. Like, they're just sort of there. Um, but that doesn't mean they're not having... A, that, that, that doesn't mean they're not having a good time. <laughs> um, it's... I'm also getting, like... It's like you're out together as a couple and um, you're the one who's, like, kind of, like, doing all the talking. I do feel like there is this, this gap in, like, age with you guys. Um, I do feel like, again, like, I'm already picking up on, like, what your marriage is going to be like, and I feel like you guys are really going to be embodying some sort of, like, good work out there. Um, you could be someone who's really into, like, charities, um, and this person, like, does all the business aspects of it. Like, they do the part that's, like, not required to do, like group work or like like they're not the type to like <laughs> go to the party but they support the organization I don't know why I'm getting like I'm just getting like a lot of like humanitarian humanitarian work for, from you guys okay I'm gonna pull tarot Let's see here. <clears throat> Who is pal one going to marry? So we have the ten of cups here. You guys are going to have a lot of kids. <laughs> you guys are going to have a lot of kids. Um... This person is going to be a really great dad. Um, oh, no, for some of you, <laughs> for some of you, I'm getting like this person might want to be like a stay at home dad. I'm getting like a really strong, like contrasting energy between the two of you. Like, I feel like you really like to be out there. Like you really like, you're like very social and this person doesn't really thrive off of like social engagement they thrive when they're alone um and it feels like they're creatively at their best when they're alone and I feel like for you you thrive when you're in some sort of community um ten of cups energy also I feel like is um for some of you you could meet this person through your family they could be a family friend um, again, like I'm this is just correlation of celebratory energy. So you again, you could meet them through friends or family where it's like, 
they're at a wedding um that you're at or they're at a birthday party or something like that like you there's they're somehow tied to you in some way um for others of you if you know who this person is already again like that that kind of magic going on in your fingers about like getting this person to you somehow um but yeah I feel like you guys are gonna have a lot of kids this is very much like happy home um a home that's gonna be very like loud <laughs> and exciting like I feel like the holidays for you guys are going to be like crazy like kids everywhere um kitchen full just so much energy happening for you guys in your marriage and in your home life oh we have the six of cups okay for some of you this is i'm getting heavy like childhood friend you could have you i'm getting so much children energy this person whoever you're gonna marry I feel like for some of you guys, like, this person is going to be literally someone that you've known, like, since childhood. This could be, like, a childhood friend. I'm getting, like, treehouse, hanging out in the treehouse, or just hanging out on your bikes in the park. Um, it just seems very much like you've, this, this person goes way back into your life. For some of you, okay? Take it how it resonates, okay? But, um... It feels, because there's so much cop energy here and there's so much, like, children, I feel like this person is really going to make you happy. I really do. And I think that, like, it feels almost like you guys are so comfortable just being yourselves. Because I do, again, pick up on very two different like lifestyles coming together and creating it into like one you guys are gonna have a lot of kids lots of kids um if you don't resonate with that like if you don't want kids um don't take that message like that's not you know um but I feel like for a majority of you you are gonna be there's gonna be a lot of babies um and if you don't want kids <laughs> um you can just take it as like happy home um, in a, in a home that's filled with, like, it's, like, inner child healing, almost. Like, you guys are doing things and creating things that make your, like, chi like your child self happy. Um, I'm getting for some of you, like, you guys are gonna have, like, a playroom. I know that sounds dirty. Maybe some of you guys are into that, but, <laughs> um, the playroom, as in, like, like, this person buys you, like, when... I'm getting, like, when Jim bought Pam the house, right, and he, he was, like, this garage could be your, um, your art studio. That's the vibe that I'm getting. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, like, just happy, just so much happiness. There's, like, a smile on my face for you guys. We have the Four of Swords. <clears throat> okay, I feel like this Four of Swords ties into the intuition here. I feel like... I feel like right now things... and Oh, so interesting how it's right under the Hermit card of this sort of pause, this break, this um, period of silence. So if you know this person already... Um, and you're in some sort of, like, separation or, you know, because I do feel like, again, I'm tying back to the feminine energy here with the stay optimistic about your love life and this feeling that you're, like, doing some sort of manifesting some magic to tie this person in. Um, it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. And I feel like that's for a strong reason for you to understand, okay? Because this person is really going through something in their life. And the more energy that you're trying to pull them in it's pulling them actually farther away um and so staying optimistic about your love life doesn't necessarily have to mean that you need to focus on one person staying optimistic about your love life just means that you are open to love in general and this could mean other options that are coming in 
other opportunities that are coming into your life that are bringing you joy. Um, so my advice to you, I feel like for this reading, um, just before we like move forward, um, to just sort of like let go and like just be, it's just stay positive because I feel like that is you and who you are as in, as a core as a person is a positive person. And just because this person is not like entering your life right now doesn't mean that they don't want to or anything like that. Like this person is clearly like, I feel like going through something in their, their life right now and things are not sort of moving forward. Four of Swords is all about rest. Um, you could be like with this intuition card, like having heavy dreams about this person. This person could be having heavy dreams about you. Um, if you don't know each other, because I feel like the majority of you guys don't really know who this person is and just take it how it resonates. Um, this person is having dreams about like marriage or they're having dreams about a partner and they can't see her face um, or his face. They can't see who this person is, but they know that it's that the feeling is there, like that intuition that like, there's a lot of energy tied to, I feel like to the stomach and the, like the third eye, like there's, there's something, uh, I don't know, how do I describe it? Um, it, it's like this person is having like headaches a lot and like at night when they go to bed, they're just having like these, this feeling of, um, anxiety about this, um, because it might be like they're not ready to have that step of marriage. But I feel like it's almost that feeling that I picked up earlier with the celebration card, like this serendipity, this feeling of, um, how do I describe it? Um, like they know that their person is right around the corner. Like they, they know you somehow. This pile, pile one, I feel like you guys are... Um, and I don't even feel, feel the need to pull any more like tarot here because I feel like I this is your message. Um, I feel like you guys are really destined to meet this person, but it's going to be at a specific time. This person is not ready for this sort of like, how do I describe it? This sort of um, like, like they're not ready for you to re reunite yet. Like, it's just like this merging that I'm doing with my hands. I feel like merging. So, um, yeah, they're, they're like going through their own thing right now. Um, I am going to pull one advice card for you guys. Cause I feel like you need it. So I'm going to quickly grab Okay, let's see here. Advice for pile number one, the person that they're going to marry. Also, I just picking up on what this person could potentially look like because um, I like to go into that kind of attributes. So this person could have dark hair, dark eyes, um, kind of like this, this photo here. They could wear all black. Um, this person, I feel like they're going to have like really like large eyes um they could again with the beard long hair um but i'm just getting that this person is going to have like this sort of um and not in a bad way okay not in a bad way this person just could have like this starkness around them the sadness there is something about them that is just they could have tattoos um there's just something about them that there's the energy that you're gonna feel because you're highly intuitive it's just like this little feeling of sadness you know and to be honest like they could also be wondering like who the hell am I gonna marry you know they're gonna be like where is my person like I'm having dreams you know I'm having heavy dreams about um this person and I can't see their face <laughs> um this is a very intuitive like pile like you guys are like I feel like the spiritual like pile so let's see advice for pile number one Oh, we have blessings. Today, I count my blessings, small and large, and I notice the new gifts that come to me from God. Okay, see, this is the energy that I was picking up, right? Like this staying optimistic about your love life, um, staying 
present and grounded into what you already have um there's gonna be like I feel like this feeling of blessings from earth like if you do have a garden if you have like some sort of okay this is so random and so like specific but winter is coming right I feel like in the middle of winter you're gonna notice like a pop of color and this is a good time to write something down if you want to remember it's like a dead bush but there's one flower still there um that's a blessing <laughs> notice the little things right like for example like if you're in like a snowy atmosphere and you see like a red cardinal in the middle of the snow that's a blessing notice the signs from nature um i feel like those are you know messages from god that they're you know the universe is, is telling you that like they they know what's going on okay they know what's happening for you um so <laughs> pile one i hope you enjoyed your reading um if that di if that didn't resonate you can watch pile two and three or watch whatever pile you want um my readings are open um my love readings are also on sale um if you want a book you can book in the link in my bio on my channel um and thank you so much for watching hi pile two welcome to your reading this is going to be about the person that you are going to marry um i already pre-shuffled here so we're just gonna get into it we have seven of emotion your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off it's likely you know which choice you should make but you're pro procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. Okay, interesting. I already have a couple messages for that, but we're going to continue to pull more here. So we have support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. We have servant. Delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. We have receive open. And we have chemistry. Interesting. Okay. So. A couple of different messages here. Some of you guys are in a connection you don't want to be in. Some of you guys recently have been potentially divorced or just out of a relationship that you just did not want anything to do with anymore, okay? So that's for a small group of you, okay? Um, you're being asked to lean on um, people in your life that understand what you're going through. I feel like that I just needed to say that. Like, that was a very specific message for some of you. Um... The person that you're going to marry, I feel like, is going to be at the same level as you. Meaning that you guys could have had the same upbringing. You could have had, like, like you guys could be very, like, I'm getting... How do I describe it? Um, like, the both of you grew up in, like, an urban area. The both of you could have had, lived in, like, an apartment. Um, the both of you could have... Um, like taking the same train went to the same school um it, it almost seems like you lived in like the same area i don't know how like what that message <laughs> um but it, it feels like you're in this energy of um almost feeling really almost overwhelmed um by your past situation i'm getting heavy like picking up on past energy here of your relationships where you felt stuck you felt maybe like you were their servant um there is something about you that feels very very caring towards other people very empathetic towards uh, other people um especially your inner circle i feel like this person could potentially be in that inner circle for some of you um, the person you're going to marry, you're going to have a strong attraction to. Um, this person could... They could work in, like, 
I'm getting like maybe like they're like some sort of chef. Um, they're they're definitely in the service of helping others somehow. Honestly, honestly, some of you guys, this person could even be like a waiter at a restaurant. That's okay. That's cool. Who cares? Um, you could also have like again. I'm getting picking up on the same exact energy. You and this person are literally mirroring each other. This person like. You could be, they could, they could be at your job, like, you could work together. It seems like you guys are serving, they're, you're like, I don't necessarily like the word servant, it seems, like, harsh, um, but you're at the service of other people. You do something where you're helping other people or you're serving them. So, for others of you, you could work at, like, a really high-end restaurant, too, right? Um... This person is also doing something similar. Like, you guys are really out there hustling. That's what I was picking up. This hustle energy. That's why I was picking up on, like, urban. Um, I'm getting, like, the bear, the show. Um, oh, I'm getting that heavy. Yeah, the bear. Um, <laughs> um, on Hulu. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it, it won so many awards. You must have heard of the bear. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's, like, this hustle energy. This, like... Even the show was very, like, fast-paced, but it seems like you could work, both work in, like, some sort of food industry, um, but it's the energy of working with others, being at service to other people, um, and really just hustling. I was picking up on, like, urban energy. You could live in a big city. Um, you could live in New York, Chicago, Atlanta. I'm getting Chicago heavy in New York as well, um. It's just, like, this go, go, go energy coming from you guys. This person is really going to be, like, a hustler. Um, I feel like this person is going to have different streams of how they make money. Um, they could do, like, a lot of freelance work. Like, their their night job, I feel like. Their night job is, like, in a restaurant or something. Um, or they could be... Um, for some of you, I'm getting even, like... What do you call it? Um... Like, they, like, bus drivers, uh, like, Uber drivers. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that. I feel like for some of you, this person, like, but it's like you're also in the same energy of, of hustling. You're also some sort of hustler. Um, You could also do multiple, have multiple streams of income. I feel like for this pile pal, too, you recently have gotten out of, like, a situation that you did not want to be in and that situation doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship but it could be that you were in a situation that was like a shitty job that you quit and then you found another one in like a second um it's just this feeling of going out there and pursuing and your inner circle was really supportive, supportive, supportive of you during this time. And I feel like for some of you guys, you might need some, like, rest before this person somehow enters your life. I feel like there's going to be a period of, like, breathing in order for this, this person to somehow step forward and your paths to cross. Um, I feel like the person that you're going to marry is very open to receiving opportunities. This person is a go-getter. They could be like some sort of entrepreneur as well. Um, they got money on their mind and I think so do you. Um, there's something about needing to put yourself out there all the time. I'm getting the two of you are very much like any opportunity that comes your way, you're like, yes. And I think your marriage to this person is is gonna be similar to that still like it's gonna be like I'm gonna go out there and take every opportunity I can I'm gonna make the connections that I need to do to move up the corporate ladder that that's the energy that I'm getting like heavy like power couple energy here from you guys for some of you there is this feeling of needing to make a decision. You'll know what that is. I'm going to pull tarot to see, to get more insight on what that decision is. But it seems like, <clears throat> for some of you, 
for some of you, you are currently stuck in a relationship that you are debating whether or not you should leave. So you could meet the person you want to marry. I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting, like, the person that you're with currently, it feels like, um... There's, like, this heaviness in your reading now. <laughs> um... The person you're with right now, if you not if you have not made the decision to leave this person, they are someone who doesn't like that you're out there. They don't like that you're like hustling all the time. But they don't understand why you do that. And it could not even just be for money, right? It could just be because you want to be successful. You want to do things that are aligned with you, that are exciting. You want to feel the chemistry not just in other connections, but the chemistry when it comes to your work and your career. And so this person is kind of holding you back from that. For some reason, you're really, for like for some of you, if you are still tied to this other person, um, you're not wanting to make that decision for some reason. It could be because you feel like there is nothing else out there for you, that your husband isn't out there for you, that your wife isn't out there for you, that this is already the person that I, that you choose, that are, that you are choosing to be with. So it's, it's like, you don't want to really let that go, but you're being asked to, you know, lean on your inner circle during this time. They're going to help you make this decision about this person. For others of you, it's like a living situation that you're trying so hard to get out of. You're probably working really hard to save money to get out of that situation. Um, whatever situation you are in right now doesn't support the lifestyle that you're seeking. Um, okay, so I'm going to move on to like the physical attributes of this person they could have um I'm getting like dark hair they could have a beard they could have a couple grays this person could have grays I'm getting for some of you this is a, a mature person they could be a bit older um I think both of you are within the same generation though is what I want to put out there you guys are within the same generation um be open to receiving help as well I want to say be open to receiving help and you'll know what that is when I when I when I said that what that help would look like um I feel like this person's person is going to wear a lot of color Tan skin, darker skin could be relevant to you as well. Doesn't have to be. Obviously, take it how it resonates. Um, this person, yeah, I feel like this person's going to wear a lot of color. Um, there could be something, like, uh, like electric about them. Like, they could wear, like, um, like, funky earrings or, like, just printed shirts. <laughs> I'm getting. Um, but let's pull some tarot to get more insight on the person you're going to marry. We have the Queen of Wands <clears throat> and the Six of Wands. Ooh, okay. Okay. <sighs> when I say success, I see success. This person is going to be so confident. And also, this is your energy as well, because I was picking up on mirrored energy. You guys are going to be so freaking successful. Because um, the Six of Wands is all about recognition it's all about public recognition i don't know why i'm getting this person even could be a model i know that sounds so random but it seems like or even you you could be a model as well this someone sees you in the public eye and like offers you like some sort of job someone offers you like um they they see you for who you are it's almost like you're being discovered 
oh my god yeah you're being discovered i'm getting like (laughs) you could work at like a restaurant and there's like this huge like millionaire sitting at that freaking table that you're serving and they're like you could be a model and you're like "Mm, i don't think so i'm just like a waitress or a waiter (laughs) like what are you talking about it's like you're being discovered because people are seeing that you are that you're radiating like some sort of confidence um It's almost like I'm getting, like, a Princess Diaries. Like, she has that makeover, and, like, she shifts. Her energy shifts. Um, You're being noticed, okay? You are definitely being noticed, and your person, the person that you're going to marry, is also being noticed. Um, The Queen of Wands energy is all about, again, being open to receiving opportunities. This is someone who's very creative, very passionate. Um... There's a lot of fiery energy, so I feel like your marriage is going to be, like, spicy, um, if you know what I mean. Uh, But I'm going to pull more here. Yeah, you're definitely being noticed. This person is also being noticed. Woo! I'm not going to take all that. the Hierophant and we have the Four of Wands marriage, 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 marriage heavy marriage is right around the corner for you guys this is like I've never seen something so obvious in my reading before like Hierophant and the Four of Wands that gives me engagement, that gives me marriage for sure um, we also have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this person is going to be very outspoken. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna have very strong opinions, very strong thoughts. Um, and I think that that's why they get so many opportunities to themselves. Like they speak up when they need to speak up. And I think you like that about them. I think that you like that this person is going to be really like able to like stand up from for themselves. Like this is someone who can who's gonna like defend you if they have to they're gonna protect you um your marriage is going to be very traditional but I don't mean like one of you stays home and the other one goes to work um traditional as in like you could do the the church wedding very simple and elegant um I'm also getting like engagement happening soon for you guys you could also meet them in they could be of faith as well like they they could go to church um that could be significant for you guys um this this person again they could be a public speaker as too like that's something that they are potentially striving to become is like some sort of public speaker they like that they get attention from a crowd um And that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but it's like they want to be noticed because they feel like they have things to say. You can meet them also at like an engagement party or whatever, but this is giving me like already like marriage is on the brain here. Um, Yeah, you could, it's going to be a very like, how do I describe it? Um... For some of you, listen, for some of you, you could be seeking a traditional relationship. You don't want to be serving anymore. Like, you are like, I want to be a stay-at-home wife or husband, right? You're like, if they can go to work, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Um, I'm all for that. Like, you do you. I, listen, you're like, I don't want to hustle anymore, okay? I think that you are seeking someone who radiates this energy who hustles who who goes out there and does what they need to do to make money who's gonna be the one that makes sure that you're sitting pretty now that you don't have to be out there hustling anymore this is a great pile (laughs) this is such a fun pile you guys and there is some a little bit of like um there is this, this feeling of needing to break free of something. So you'll know what that is, okay? You need to break free from a certain situation 
so that you can move towards this beautiful energy that is entering your life. This person that's wanting to enter your life, okay? Like some of you guys, you could have already met this person, but I'm getting for the majority of you, you don't know this person yet. Um, Cause you're tied to a situation right now that is sort of pulling you back, really. Um, so you'll know what that is. I'm gonna pull an advice card for you to close out our reading. truth i am lovingly honest with myself and others okay so this tells me a couple different messages about the situation that you're currently in um you're being asked to understand and really be honest with yourself as to why you are still stuck in the situation that you don't want to be stuck in okay um for some of you it is a relationship ask yourself why are you still holding on to this person? Why do you feel the need to be, to continue being in a relationship with this person or continue living in the same situation? I know everybody's situation is going to be different. It's hard to leave certain circumstances in your life. Everybody has a different reason as to why they can't leave. I totally understand that. Um, you're being asked to lean on people that you can trust who are also going to be honest with you, who want to help you. We have two cards indicating here being open to receiving. So we have being open to receive here and we have support and lean on your inner circle during this time. And also even with this card here, ask heaven. Ask heaven for guidance. You guys know what choice you need to make here, okay? Um, but I'm going to leave it at that for you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you would like a personal reading, um, link is in my bio on my channel page. Um, my love readings are on sale right now, so you can book a reading with me if you would like. Um, and if this pile did not resonate with you, that's okay. You can go ahead and watch a different pile. But thank you again for watching. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be all about the person that you are going to marry. Um, I already pre-shuffled here, so we're just gonna get right into it. We have three of abundance. Your passions will lead to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. Okay, so for some of you already, I'm getting that you could potentially meet the person that you're gonna marry through work. Um, this could be a work partnership. Um, the two of you could want to work together. Um, I'm getting like, for some of you, you could share a business potentially with this person. But, um, I'm getting that like, the person that you're going to marry is going to be very like, focused heavy on the material world and making money. And that's totally cool. Um, we love that. We love a person that, you know, puts themselves out there, does what they can to be successful. And I feel like this person is, kind of radiates that energy. Um, it could be very extroverted as well. We have leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Okay, some of you guys, this is like a heavy, like, um, person that you know at work. Um... Three of, three, of, three of abundance, three of pentacles could also just mean that you know this person through friends. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a work-related relationship, but it seems very much like this person is often in a group setting, okay? This could be in a study group as well. They could be in some, one of your classes. Um, but it seems like you have your eye on someone already. Gossip. Oh my god, this is... This is giving heavy, like, this. Per you're going to know this person in a group, okay? This is, like, group, like, group of friends. Um, I'm even getting the show friends now, but it's, like, somehow you guys are intertwined through a group of people. So we have awakens consideration for the feelings of others, honoring trust. Okay, I'm already getting that. Okay, you know what? Let me just pull the rest first. <laughs> we have forming structure, solid foundation. And then we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. So this could be someone 
you already know. This could be someone that you have already been with. Um, this is giving me a strong sense that this person is talked about somehow. They could have a reputation. <laughs> they could have a reputation. The album Reputation by Taylor Swift is coming through. Um, this person is talked about. Maybe they're talked about online even because the three abundance, it, it could also mean like online community somehow. Um, I'm not saying this person is not a gossip. That's not the energy that I'm picking up. They're definitely not a gossip, but they are someone who is talked about somehow. They could be a bit of a rebel. Um, I'm already picking up on some physical attributes. This person could, um, they're unique in some way. They could have, uh, like, their hair dyed, piercings, um, tattoos, dark hair. I'm getting tan skin as well. Um, light eyes. Um, they could be, like, a little gawky, like, thin. Um, almost alien-like with this card here. Um, but for others of you, they look, <laughs> they look more like this, like, you know, tan skin, dark curly hair I'm getting for some of you, but there is like, um, this energy of like, they are a little bit different. They, they stand out in a crowd. Okay. They are meant to be seen in some way. And I think that's why, that's why they're talked about. And I think you have your eye on this person. Um, for others of you. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm getting a clear message that this is the person that you're going to marry, you know them within a group setting, okay? Like, this is some... You're going to meet them in some sort of group setting. If you haven't met them already, they're going to be in some sort of group setting of, like, a friend group, um, a work colleague group, um, an online community somehow. Maybe, like, like I'm getting, like, online forum for some of you. Um, they could be a part of, like, an online forum of, like, a fan base or a fan group type of thing. Um... For others of you, this the person that you, you're going to marry is someone from your past. There's someone from your past. The energy that I'm picking up is that there is a lot of gossip around your relationship with this person, or there was a lot of gossip within the relationship of your person. Um, family members had something to say about you two. Friends had something to say about you two. It just seems like you two were like the talk of the town. Um, I'm also getting that maybe some people disapproved of your relationship with this person. There could have been cultural differences. There could have been religious differences. There could have been um, lifestyle differences, okay? Like, um, just like societal. Maybe, you know, you grew up differently from how this person was raised. Um, different, like, income class type of situation. Um, but it seems like the person that you're going to marry, I'm getting heavy, is, like, someone that you are probably already with. Um, someone that you have your eye on or just someone from your past. Um, what's happening with this person, though, is that they are currently going through this period of building some sort of structure in their life with this structure card here. Um, they're building some sort of solid foundation. And I feel like maybe when you were with this person, they did not have their stuff together. Um, it seems like they were kind of really affected by other people and other people telling them certain things about you, even. It's almost like they took the wrong advice. I don't know why I'm getting, like, yeah, they took the wrong, the wrong advice from somebody, a potential, like, mentor, or I don't know why I'm getting, like, priest. <laughs> but it seems like they, they took the wrong advice from somebody about this connection, um, with you. And it backfired. It backfired. Whatever happened, it backfired, I feel like. Um, this person is just really affected by other people's energy. And I think for you, that was really upsetting. Because now it seems like you're dealing with somebody who is potentially a little bit gullible. Like, why would you believe so-and-so what they said about me? It's not true. It's, it's this feeling of, like, they really had to try to understand 
why they are the way that they are. <laughs> I'm getting, um... I'm getting that they are really just, like, all of a sudden, like, my nose just, like, clogged up. Um, so I feel like there's, like, a bit of, like, someone here is crying a lot. This could be you, but it seems like there's a bit of sadness by this. I feel like the sadness is sort of passing. Um, it's passing by. And it's weird because I feel like things are sort of washing, clearing things out. Like things are washing over all of this, all of this energy. I kind of want to just push it aside. Um, this person is somehow re-entering your life. Okay. Um, the person that you're going to marry has to be really evolved. They're going to need to be evolved. They're going to have to be able to look past this gossip about themselves, about you, about other people. Like, they need to not engage in some sort of community anymore. They need to take a leap of faith, potentially, and walk out of certain community situations that are holding them back from being with you. So I'm going to pull some tarot. Okay, pile number three, all about the person you're going to marry. So we have the world. There's definitely a new cycle happening for you guys, okay? There is a new cycle that is that is happening here. Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Hmm. This person is very burdened by a certain community. They have... Okay. <clears throat> the person that is coming through from you, for you, is very... They have a lot of responsibility. Um, it seems like they are tied to a certain community here. Um, it could be work, family, take it how it resonates. This is a general reading. They are trying to escape it. <laughs> Okay, I feel like that's the message with your person right now. What they're doing is they're they're being sneaky about it. They're 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 really trying to maneuver their way out of a certain community. They're they're secretly forming and building some sort of foundation in their life that nobody else knows about, not even you. <laughs> um to get out of a certain situation here. This person, again, could have a, a lot of responsibilities. Um, I'm also getting, like, someone who is tied to a job. And at their job, they're applying to other jobs. <laughs> That's the energy that I'm getting. It's like, they are really trying to make their way, way out. They could live at a distance from you with this world card. Um, somehow they're trying to do what they can to reconcile with you. Um... And for some reason, they feel like they have to be sneaky about it. Oh my god, I'm getting um the bolter, Taylor Swift, when she's like, there's escape in escaping. This, this person is bolting. They're bolting out of a certain situation right now. They want to make their way back to you. And they're like, I gotta, I gotta do some maneuvering. I gotta make some phone secret phone calls to get out of something. And it doesn't seem like they're in some sort of like, dire situation where it's like I'm like in this worst situation of my life like I need to like have an escape plan they just want to be sneaky so they're not talked about they just don't want people to know let's see here I'm gonna pull one more here for you all about the person that you're gonna marry what is going on here Eight of Swords. Oh, there it's an illusion. It's all an illusion. They feel really stuck for some reason.
we have the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. So, I don't know why they're so affected by this. Why are they so affected by other people? This could be like, for some of you guys, this could be a family. And I don't mean third party, okay? This is not a third party reading. Um, This is the energy of potentially being tied to a certain belief. Because we have the Eight of Swords. And Swords is all about thinking and mental energy um, and thoughts and beliefs. And I feel like this person is tied to certain beliefs of their past, of their childhood. They still have something is cir circulating them. We have birds, two birds here. <clears throat> Expect a message as well with this page of swords. This this could be someone who is wanting to reach out to you and tell you what's going on with them and about their life and what's been happening while the two of you have been separated. So expect some communication. But I'm getting with this bird here that something from their past is really circulating them. And I think it's a way of thinking. Someone was in their ear telling them things about your connection um, with this person or just in general telling things about them in their life like they are just kind of fed up but for some reason it's still affecting them till this day and I'm just getting with the house in the back as well I'm getting heavy like they're tied to some sort of family tradition family like way of thinking whatever they were taught as to as a, as a child is affecting them till this day and it affected your relationship as well Yeah, they feel trapped. They feel trapped. I'm going to pull... I didn't do this for other piles. So you guys are getting an extra card. Queen of Cups. Oh, God, is a mother involved? Okay, so we have the cherry here at the bottom of the deck as well. So... This person is moving towards you. Oh, we have evolution. Good, good, good. So this is good energy. This is good energy. I feel like there is some sort of mother figure, some feminine energy that is pulling back your person a lot. This person that you're going to marry, he's tied to some to some feminine energy here. Um, and you'll know who that is because I feel like I'm reading for people that already know who this person is and already know. You Honestly, for some of you guys, you could already be married. You really could already be married to this person and you're just dealing with some mother-in-law, some toxic mother-in-law here. Um, things are moving forward, though. We have the chariot and the evolution card here. So I'm going to put this here over the world because I feel like um, there is this energy of having to make their way towards you somehow. Again, you could they have to like maybe potentially travel to you somehow. Um but either way, um, this person is, is shifting and changing. They are shifting and changing. They really need to break out of some sort of way of thinking here. And they're trying really hard. I promise you they're trying really hard, but they're burdened. They're burdened by things. They're burdened by other people, by a community, by a family, by a mother. Like, they're just really burdened. They feel like they have a lot of responsibility on their shoulders. And for some reason... If you are in some sort of separation with this person... They feel like they need to have all their, like, ducks in a row. They feel like they need to have, like, a certain solid structure that you can trust and be able to be comfortable in their energy again, okay? So that's a very specific mes message, okay? Some of you guys are really dealing with somebody who is tied to another feminine energy here. So let's see. Advice for pile number three. Aw, we have watched over. I allow myself to feel safe and enjoy my life, knowing that heaven is watching over my loved ones and me. So, there's a lot of beautiful energy around you right now, okay? Know that you are protected during this time, especially if you are already married to this person, okay? If you are already married to this person, 
or engaged or, um, you know, your situation, you are being watched over and protected during this time. And don't let these people get in the way of your relationship with this, with your person. Okay. It, it should bring you guys closer together rather than farther apart. Um, this person is really trying to step out of whatever situation that they are stuck in and know that it is a mental, mental block. It, 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 for some of you, it could be physical, right? Because we, we do have the world here with the chariot, which tells me they have to somehow travel to you. It could be like a long distance situation, but it does feel like for you, um, know that your connection is, is watched over. Um, so continue to have faith and pray um, for your person because I feel like they are, they're going through it right now. Um, did I say physical attributes for your pile already? I think I did. Um, but know also that they are potentially with this page of swords trying to somehow reach you, trying to connect, connect with you. Um, and I also feel like weirdly enough, um, with the seven of swords and this page of swords, I feel like because they don't want people to know that they're trying to contact you, maybe check your spam folder, um, in your email. Um, it could, it, it's almost like they call from like an unknown number or something for some reason it feels like your relationship has to be hidden from this person from this from other people I don't take it how it resonates I'm getting so many different messages <laughs> but um yeah that is that is your message pile number three um if that resonated with you great if it didn't you can watch um pal one and two you can also book a personal reading with me my love readings are on sale right now um and we can dive deeper in this situation if that is something that you are seeking um but thank you again for watching